Good morning, good morning, good morning, and of course, good morning. I hope you're all doing very well this morning. I hope everything is going good. It is a Tuesday. I remembered what day it was today. Are you impressed? You should be, because it doesn't happen very often that I actually remember what <laughs> what day of the week it is when we start our stream. Um, but it is a Tuesday, and we are still... Is it still May? It's still May, isn't it? It is still May, right? Okay, I didn't know that much. Uh, <laughs> I had a feeling. Um... Man, this year has seems to have gone so quick already. <clears throat> um, I guess time flies when you're having fun, and I've been streaming for most of it, so uh, I guess I guess that's why. I, I don't know. It just seems to have gone very quickly all of a sudden. Um, we're going to be playing some more Legend of Keepers this morning. We're going to continue our run from yesterday uh, and the run from last week that, that we've been doing. We've been doing all right. I think we've been doing all right. Um, with the help of my uh, of Twitch chat, we've been doing we've been doing pretty good. All right, so let's let's get it started, shall we? Let's get it started. And the music ends. Lovely, lovely, excellent. All right, let's get started. Hello, hi, hi, hello, hello. Let's make sure this Are is my friend. Yes, no. Come on. Are you an enchantress? Yeah, we don't need to see that. We've seen that. We've seen that before. All right. So let's continue on from where we were. Let's get to work. As he says, let's get to work. Um, so, uh, I just want to do a quick recap of where we are. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty low on health. We're down to 363 health. You can't quite see it, but this is the health bar. You can see where the health bar is. Uh, we're not doing too great uh, with the health bar. We've got a decent amount of, of blood and tears and gold. So we could go to the merchant, which would be buying new stuff. But I think training what we currently have. If I remember rightly, we have our bony boys. So we have our sort of skeleton crew. Um, because we've got this artifact which um, you can only place one group of monsters but their maximum life is increased and their power is increased so and then we got this one um, so if you only put uh, skeletons in a group then their resistances go up and their th and their armor goes up so this means that their life has increased, their powers increased, their resistance has increased, and their armor's increased if we just have one group of skeletons. So it's gonna it's in my interest to try and um, to try and level up uh, all of our all of our skelly boys. Um, so we've got two level four skelly boys now and one level three skelly boy. Um, but to level him up, we're going to need uh, a little bit more gold, unfortunately. Um, let's do a workout. Let's see if we can get some more health. We can get some more health for our uh, for our slave ho slaveholder there. There you go. He's up to 512 now. That'll help. <laughs> That'll help. Uh, I mean, we could give him another 60 on top of that if we want to use up all our tears. I don't think we want... Uh, do we? Yeah, sh do you know what? Sure, let's do it. There you go. So he's up to 572. Okay, that's that's a little better. That's a little better. Let's quest. Hello. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning to you. Okay. You're prepping for the session later? Oh man, I, I, I'm, I am like excited and anxious and nervous and uh, all sorts of things about uh, the session this evening. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, because it's the first game that I've played as a player in like over five years and it's being streamed that's why and it's not on my channel so it's someone else's channel so I don't want to I don't want to like let down the team
Oh, let's just take the gold. We need the gold. <laughs> well, I mean, but yeah, but that's what I want to do. I want to be able to do that. I want to keep you on your toes. Uh, so, you know, I want to make sure that I, I give my best. Uh, because especially as it's not on my channel, it's on someone else's channel. Like, that would be the worst if, if people came to your channel and be like, who the fuck is this guy? Ruining it for everyone else. <laughs> so yeah, I get you. I get you. I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll. I'll. I'll be. Once. Once we get into it, and it starts, I'll be fine. <laughs> no. 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 That. That. The murder hobo won't. Won't happen. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, like we've. Grishnak, although he's half orc, he'll be. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oh, man, which one do I go for? Like, none of these are particularly good for a, a slaveholder that has just under 700 hit points. Um, it would be nice to get another skeleton if we can, just to, in case we need to swap them out. But a champion would be also pretty cool to get a new rare thing. I don't think that's on the cards, though. I think we're going to have to go with number two. Who does number two work for? Hey, you want to put a hash two in the chat for me? <laughs> Sorry, I'll do it. Sorry, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. That's what I'm voting for. Hey, Heasel's here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Heasel. How you doing? Alright, and we get a support vote, so you can increase the speed of my monsters if you type hash2 in the chat for me as well. Um, right, we're not putting anything in here because we want to have uh, we want to have our skelly bobs as our as our main group. Right. Okay. So nothing goes in here. Okay. Then the trap comes in. Rallying horn is going to go in here. Who have we got up with heels? The he heals 10% of all heroes' maximum life at the start of each fight. Okay, that's fine, because we're only going to have three fights. So it's not a massive problem. That prevents monsters from coming back to life. And that one applies armor broken. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Let's put the rallying horn in first, then. Thank you very much. That should help. But hasting my monsters. Let's quest... You're in, doing some some sweet sweet fire damage. Um. So yeah, so because we've got only one group, it means that their <clears throat> their life is increased by fifty percent, their power is increased by fifty percent, uh, and they've because it's all skeletons, uh, they get plus fifteen to all their resistances and plus thirty to their armor. And now, because of your uh, your bonus voting here, uh, it means that they also have an extra 40 speed on top of what they would normally have, which is pretty cool. So, up to this point, they don't have anything to do in the first room. Uh, they have the rallying shout of the little goblin fella here, which enrages my dudes, so they'll do more damage. Um, and does a bit of demoralizing stuff to them. Then we get a spell here, which we might be able to do some demoralizing stuff with them on this one. Do lots of demoralizing stuff with Father of the Damned Skelly Boy mini boss here. And then hopefully by the time they get here, we should be able to like kill one of them off with any luck. They'll get to here. They'll get 15% of all their uh, morale back and they might do a little heal potentially as well. So then we get one more trap here, which I'm going to put the mouth shutter in. 
before they then go into the boss, which hopefully we will have killed at least one of them before they get to the boss, because the boss is only like half health. Oh, that enrages all of them. Oh, sweet. Let's go with some more intimidation, because it applies terrified as well. And if we can get if we can get them down below the sort of seventy five area. Not quite, but they'll they'll start ticking away. Oh, except it won't, because he's gonna get rid of it all. Great. Okay, there we go. So, oh, this one's still not quite. But this one, this one is. There we go. Okay, so we've both, we've got them all down under 75. So that means they're going to start taking... 15% uh, more damage from, the, uh, from their attacks. Is he still alive? Is he still alive? No. That's annoying. Oh, and he gives one hero... Oh, okay. He give, gives 25% of one hero's maximum morale back after a fight. And he did that on himself, and he can only do it once. So he can't do it again. There we go. Oh, big hit. Stay alive. Nice. Alright, nice big hit there. Excellent. I was kind of hoping that would finish him off, but we'll go with this one for finishing him off. We've almost killed the one in the middle as well now. Alright, she's gone. So it's just uh, just this guy. <laughs> oh, he's going down. There we go. Nice. Skelly boys to the win. Excellent work. Oh, man. I really wanted another skelly boy. But we don't have any more skelly boys. Oh, well. Okay, well, we'll take this guy, the, uh, the boar man, because the... Ball man's a cool, and he like hits like a truck. Okay, that went that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Um, everyone is everyone is in good condition. This is this is great. That doesn't happen very often. Um, all right, let's do let's go to the trainer. Uh, let's level up Henry. Uh, and I think that is uh, I don't think we can level them up anymore. I think that's the maximum. That we can level them to. Um, okay. Let's uh, send someone out on a business trip. A pocket mirror damaged the first. Uh, yeah, let's get. Uh, let's send. Let's send. Let's send Streamlabs out on a for a, a, a pocket mirror for fourteen weeks. Oh no, that's going to take too long. That's going to take too long. There we go, we'll send that one out. Um, okay. You're invited to work lunch with your employees. They are chanting your name when you, 
when your turn to pay for everyone comes, what will you pay for? Uh, drinks. I need. I want my gold for for training stuff. Okay, let's interview me me in turn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't want to get rid of that. I mean, I could get rid of that if I wanted to. And then we could do, start using, like... Hmm. Okay, so this is the... this is Hi, Rise. How you doing? Um, this is the, the, the thing we've got. So, so far, we've just been having one group of, uh, of monsters... Um... Because of the cheerleaders' pom pom. <laughs> no, no, I'm not ready for that. Um, oh man, I, I I was I was doing well. I had a shower, and then um, in an effort to, uh, I opened the the cupboard under the sink to get some uh, stuff out for the dishwasher this morning. So I put the dishwasher on, and as I've bent down to do it, I've whacked my shoulder right on the corner of the door, right on the place where I got my injection, my vaccine, and it, oh my god, it hurt so bad, it hurt so bad, because it's already like, like bruised, it still feels bruised on my shoulder from where I, where I had it done on Thursday, and like, I, I, I can feel like a physical lump there now, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, um, so, but otherwise, otherwise I'm fine, like, I had a shower this morning. Like I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm trying not to think about the fact that I'm doing uh, the Let's Quest uh, stuff. I'm being a player for their D and D thing tonight. I'm trying not to think about that as much as I want to think about it. I'm trying not to think about it because I'm getting a little anxious about it. But otherwise, I'm good. Rise, Hazel. I want your opinions. So we can we can buff. We can buff our, our our skelly man, our mini boss intern, right? Um, so that uh, he gets plus he gets two enraged instead of one enraged for uh, heroes whose morale is under seventy five percent at the start of his turn. Now we can pay for it and just straight up two hundred gold and it happens, or we can give it the the cheerleader's pom pom artifact. Um, which means we get to save the gold that we can then use on other things. Um, but it does mean that we lose this artifact. Um, now, if we lose the artifact, it does mean that we can then have two groups of monsters again. So the artifact means you, it, it buffs one group of monsters, but it means you can only have one group of monsters. Um, so it would mean that we could have two groups of monsters again, but it means that the the, the group of monsters that was buffed before the skeleton the skeletons that were getting buffed before, uh, it means that they won't have the extra life that they did before, and it means they won't have the power that they did before. So it's like <sighs> I don't know. It does sound like the intern deserves it. Okay. All right then. We lose an artifact. The intern gets it. Okay. Well, in that case, then we need to figure out uh, who's going in our first group. Uh, who is going to be in our first part of our first group? I think we'll get Rise back in. Uh, no, the intern won't get the buff. Like that. That's it's it's gone now. The artifact is gone forever. I'm not quite sure how it works, but yeah, that's not quite that's not quite how how I, uh, how I see it going. Um, okay, so I think we'll make up this group. I'm going to put him over here just in case we ever want to put him in for whatever reason. Uh, so I think we're going to make this group up of uh, Poom and uh, and Rise, and maybe we'll put Streamlabs in if we can, like, train up. Streamlabs, maybe. I'm not going to put myself in because I'm I'm pretty rubbish. Okay, so let's go to the trainer then, and let's train up. Um, 
can we not train up them? No, we need more blood for that. And I can't train up you, because I need more blood for that. But let's train up Streamlabs then. And they, they will be the kind of tank for that group. Uh, let's do some plundering. Okay. A whole bunch of gold, but 75% risk of injury. Uh, that one we don't really need. Okay, let's do this one. It's a little bit of gold, but we have a 20% chance of getting a monster, and there's a very low risk of injury. And if we do get injured, it's only for three weeks. Okay. Everyone's unscathed. No monster, but we did get 122 gold, so... Okay, we're coming up towards the end of... the end of our time. So the black market allows me to sell... Sell monsters. Okay. Oh. Is it too late to move them? Oh, fuck. Shit. I should have moved them into... I forgot to, to put them into the garrison first. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we need, we need blood for these guys as well. Okay, so if I want to level up any more, I need some more blood. That's fine. Okay. Alright, so let's have a little look then. So we've got uh, a normal difficulty for number one. Gives us a bonus to our master. Our master's looking pretty good now. He's up to 920 health, which is great. Um, so it gives us a bonus to him. Uh, should we need it? Should we want it? Uh, number two is hard difficulty, but we have a disaster room, which makes it a little easier. Uh, and we get a, a, a new trap and some gold. And then the last one is hard difficulty. They get a resting room, which means they'll heal up at some point. Um, uh, but we get an equal amount of gold as we do to the second one, but we get a monster instead of a trap. So, two or three gives us the same amount of gold, potentially. Uh, two gives us a trap. Three gives us a monster. Three is also a little bit more difficult. Alright, let's get the voting started, shall we? Oh, 50-50. Anyone else going to vote to split the to split this uh, this halfway mark? Well, I have no idea which one won. No idea. Okay. So, haste. <clears throat> if you'd like to buff my monsters, type hash2 in the chat. Alright, we're going to need to figure out this. Let's put Rise in the middle there. There we go. Lovely job. Who are we up against? Level 8. Holy shit. These guys are level 8. Uh, this one is immune to poison. Or it can't be affected by poison. I guess it can still take the nature damage from the initial thing. Uh, this one heals 25% of one hero's maximum life after a fight once. Uh, this one's just fast and does poison stuff. And this uh, gains enrage, applies enraged, and does a lot of bleeds. Ugh. Okay, great. Uh, all these guys are weak, fairly weak to nature, so that's gonna go. That's gonna go real well. It's gonna go real well. Yep. Cool. All right. Um, let's see. Rallying horn. And then they come up against Father of the Dam. Then there's a spell. Then we hit. Uh, we get our dudes. Our skelly bobs. And then they'll go up against. The. Uh, 
to have the silence trap and then they'll go up against the boss. We need to kill at least one of them, or make at least one of them run away um, before they get to the boss. Wow, okay. Like they've, they've killed the Yeti already. Oh no, not quite. Yeti's, Yeti's dead though, essentially, at this point. Wow. Like, we've done fuck all to them so far. Well, he's going to get one more turn before he dies. Let's stack that terrified. This is not going... Yeah, they, this is, they are very strong. Uh, this is not going very well at all. In case you hadn't realised. Is a good question. I don't know. I don't know what happened to all the haste, um, but it's it's not here. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't we don't have it. <clears throat> Trying to reduce morale on on them as best I can, as well as uh... okay. Well, never mind. Well, we've successfully managed to uh, not kill any of them. <clears throat> And she's done her heal. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened to the haste. It's doubtful. It's doubtful that they'll die from morale because this guy's morale only affects the guy at the front. So I can maybe make him run away? But it won't be this round. Well, maybe it will. Oh. No? Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, it could be. It could be. Okay. If I do that, then we at least get rid of him. I can hear your legs trembling. 
So that's one one less to worry about. If we do that again, we'll have, to, we'll have to hope that we can survive one more round and then we can get rid of this guy. Ah, he's dead. Oh. He's not dead yet, but he'll be dead after this. Now he's dead. I, I don't... For, okay, for a start, I don't know what happened to our haste buff that got voted for. That didn't seem... That didn't seem to have. That didn't didn't seem to happen. Like it only seemed to like apply to like one group of of uh, of our monsters, and then the rest of the monsters just didn't get it for whatever reason. Um, so that kind of sucks. Um, and yeah, I I don't. This is the thing that annoys me is that uh, the only thing that annoys me is that like you get a split vote of which one you're doing. But it doesn't actually tell you which one it is that you end up doing. They applied to the first fight? I'm pretty sure they've applied to both fights when I've done it before. I'm stronger now. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, we would have been okay if we hadn't had that really, like... That really hard uh, hero fight really early. We might have been okay because we would have had more health. Here we go. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure they've applied to both before. Yeah, that kind of that kind of sucks. Let's get to work. Okay. I really like the Skelly Boy. So I think we'll take the Skelly Boy again. Because he, he did work for us before. Okay. Okay. That's fine. No, didn't. No, because if, if I'd forgotten, then... These people wouldn't be named what they're named. Yeah, no, I'm pr I'm pretty sure it's applied to to both sets of um, both sets of of of, um, of monsters before. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Um, okay, let's go to the trainer. Let's start. Uh, Start leveling up some some of the some of the peeps. Oh, we can only have one one group again, can't we? Okay. Here we go. Uh, already, like I can't do anything. Maybe haste is different? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Uh, a wizard with a strange hat has fallen from the sky and landed in the entrance hall. He was carrying a magical artifact. Uh, applies terrified to all heroes with a de when a demon is defeated. Do we have any demons? We don't have any demons. Okay, let's just sell it. We haven't got any blood yet. We haven't had any fights yet. Come on now. Uh, the employees union has made a request an anonymous suggestions box for the employees even if they can't write this simple gesture will boost morale we don't need to boost morale, we've literally done nothing yet come on now yeah we've done nothing yet okay Pip, hello how you doing um, yeah pretty good, pretty good okay so first, first fight they all reward a monster uh, the Number two and number three uh, are probably 
actually number three is probably going to be relatively straightforward and relatively easy uh, and awards the most gold um, and gives us a disaster room. So I think we should vote for number three. But you can vote for whichever one you like by typing hash one, hash two, or hash three in the chat. Get ready. Here comes the countdown. <clears throat> You got an, uh, you got a lesson tonight. Oh, was this for 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 your, your riding? Oh, you'll be fine. Hey, Pip, I'm playing D and D as a player tonight for the first time in five years. You're nervous about your riding. I'm nervous about that. It is today. Yeah. All right. I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't see what the result was, so I don't know which one we're doing. Okay, here comes the support vote. Uh, if you want to buff my monsters with Enraged, then type hash 2 in the chat. Um, we are up against uh, two level 4s and a level 3. Did anyone see which one actually got the most votes? Because <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see which one had the most votes. Um, so this one uh, attacks regenerate the hero's life by 50% of the damage dealt oh for fuck's sake okay three got it okay cool um, this one does initial duration of penalties received decreased by one and gives 25% of one hero's maximum morale back after a fight once and this guy just hits really hard and oh, excuse me, poisons everyone. Okay, rallying horn to begin. Let's try and reduce morale as best we can. He's all you big orc boy. You're going to be protecting um, the the goblins uh, of me and and rise. <laughs> as best uh, what's the artifact oh right yeah no we can't we can't have these guys we can't have these guys because uh, we can only have one group of monsters and we've just leveled up we've just leveled up our uh... we've just leveled up our, our skeletons <clears throat> so that's not that's not going to happen uh, let's do that one there, that one here, and then that one there. There we go. Yeah, so we can only have one group of monsters, but that group of monsters, um, maximum life is increased by 50%, and their power is increased by 50%. I love this little, <laughs> this little goblin, like, just swooping up, and it's like, ah. Two very rubbish traps. Great. I really hate that, like, they get to do stuff, like, before the actual initiative starts. Yeah, yeah his little tiny gobbo is like, <laughs> Let's give you another torment. Do a spectral claw. Nice. Well, morale wise, they're slowly going down. <clears throat> so, if nothing else, they'll start taking more damage, right? He's done his morale heal, so that's it. He won't do another morale heal now. So, let's do some more intimidation. Uh, let's slow them down. Here we go. Let's get some tears from this guy who's going to run away. <clears throat> let's get some blood from killing that one.
And we'll get some blood by killing this guy as well. Hooray! Hooray! Ooh. An ice skeleton. That's pretty cool. I don't think we've had an ice skeleton before. Applies demoralized as well. Nice. I think we're going to take the ice skeleton. Is you. It is you. Uh, okay. We can upgrade. Let's upgrade our rallying horn. Because it's probably slightly better than the other one. Um, okay, let's do this random event. Uh, we can't do any of that. Great. Good. 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 Oh no! I don't want to go to the collectors because we've got. We don't. I don't think we've got enough gold. Uh, enough. Enough hell uh, blood. We'll have to take. We'll just have to take a hit. We'll just have to take a hit. Okay. Let's do some plundering. All right, what have we got here? We've got find the chance for finding an artifact, but uh, it's only thirty-five percent chance. But they would be out for ten weeks. Set a monster free. That sounds cool. Find a monster one hundred percent, but volunteers take. Uh, Minus one. <clears throat> what we're at? Oh, we could be, we could probably do that. Let's take a hundred percent to find that monster. Sure, we'll do that. Again, we got another we got another Skelly boy. Noise. Noise. Uh, I'm gonna move these around. There we go. I'm gonna keep all the Skelly boys together. What is that? I don't know what that is. Every so often I hear it. Boop, 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 and I don't know what it is. There's, there's obviously a loose connection somewhere, but I have no idea what it is. Okay. Uh, we've got an easy one. This is normal difficulty, but it's got a disaster room and it doesn't give us very much gold. Um, so, uh, and then we've got. Okay, it's going to have to be number three, really. Uh, it's a hard difficulty, but it's not that hard. Gives us a disaster room as well, which makes it a little bit easier for us. Uh, and awards us an artifact, and we could do with some more uh, artifacts. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I've no idea what it is. Everything is still working. <laughs> so, uh, no, I don't have a controller plugged in. A controller? Come on now. Um, okay, so I, I personally think number three would be most useful because we get a new artifact, but. Uh, number th two does offer us more gold and a new monster, so uh, let the voting begin. Fifteen seconds. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Well, who the fuck knows what we're going to get? Who knows? I have no idea which one we're going to get. Okay. Well, if you want to enrage my monsters, then hash two in the chat. What are we up against? This guy gives 2% of all heroes maximum morale back at the start of each turn. Oh, that's that's not good. And it randomly moves people at the beginning of the first fight. Dodges activations of the first regular trap. Uh, the attack hits all monsters, but damage is dealt is reduced. Uh, and this guy can't be affected by demoralized. <sighs> right, okay. Alright, P 
Kip, you're going to be in on this one. I hope uh, I hope you don't let me down. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm not... I don't hold up much hope. But, we'll see. Run, little guy! Run! <laughs> He's like... Oh. Okay, this should... The fact that these two are, uh, are, as, are down as much as they are... Um, should help this guy do damage to them. Provided he stays alive, obviously. Oof. Oof. Come on, stay alive for one more round. S stay alive for one more round. Let's get another one of those... Spectral Claws. Yeah, look at that. Dude at the back's gonna run away, surely. No, no, not quite. Okay. But close. Diego, hello. Sneaking a lurk from work. Tiny, tiny little chubby goblin in a chair, blowing a horn, scared them all away. Woo! <laughs> Hi, Diego. Hey, Dan. I hope you're well. We're going to get it again. We're going to get the, the, the Brid Bridget's Bone again. Monsters placed in a group containing only skeletons. We're doing it. We're going to have a little... No, we're going to have another group of skelly boys. Absolutely. Love the Skelly Boys. All right, let's let's train up. Let's train up the Skelly Boys. Pip, you're level three. Congrats. Streamlabs, you're level four. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, getting the skull would be great if we could get the skull as well. Would be would be super super cool. Um. But, yeah. Don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, a shifty looking supply is offering you some human thighs to feed your employees at a discount price. They don't look or smell particularly fresh, but you know that ma management would grant you a sweet salary bonus for reducing overheads. We kind of need the gold right now. And I know this is going to come back to bite me in the ass, but it's 500 gold. So, let's do it. And then let's go back to the trainer. Uh, is there anyone... So what do we need to level... Oh, we need more blood for for leveling them up again. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's... We can do the event, or we can go to the merchant and hope that they have a, new, a different trap. Because I don't feel like our traps are great. Don't do the event. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can get a new trap. A pile of bones. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, the event will be your consequences. Ah, smart. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Um, this isn't. This is new. We've not had one of these before. This could be good, especially if we if we put this one uh, up front, or do we take the skeleton archer for another skelly boy? Let's try that. Let's try the pile of bones. Yeah, yeah. Let's get the pile of bones. Okay, cool. Right, we're up against the champion straight away. Now, if you remember, like. Could have bought both. Yeah, I could have done, but we've, we've got we've got Skelly Boys. We've got Skelly Boys. Uh, now, if you remember rightly, 
last time we had this champion, um, it fucked us up. Like, it almost killed us. Um, and then we barely recovered. And then next time we came up against uh, a hard uh, a hard enemy encounter, uh, we got screwed. So... They get a rest room, but we get a rare if we can defeat them. Hopefully it's a rare skeleton. That would be great. Or a rare artifact. Alright. Speed increased by 40%. If you want to give us haste for the monsters, hash two in the chat. Okay. Um... Huh. I wanted to put in the pile of bones, but I'm going to put Rallying Horn in because that also gives Enraged. Yeah, that also gives Enraged. Pip, what are you doing? My enemies do not need any more help. They have a level 6 dwarf champion who's like just going to beat the shit out of all of us. Um, what does this one do? All resistance is increased by 15. This one has already got its speed increased by 20. Uh, no, they don't need any help defeating me. They really don't. Okay. Then we get there, and then we get our They, they look kind of shit, though. This guy's got 725 health. 725! That's huge! Scary one is the one in the middle? No, no, no. He's not scary. Like, he's quick, but he's got, he's got low health and he's got low morale. This is the scary one. Especially as he's like right up front <clears throat> as well. <clears throat> okay, and they get a rest. They get a room they can just have a little rest in. Okay, we're going to put a pile of bones in there. And hope that we can kill one of them. Or make one of them run away. Maybe. Holy. Yeah, I really like the fact that they get to have turns before I do. Before the combat's even really started. Okay, we get to have another turn. That's good. That's probably going to be the only time. That's probably going to be our last turn now. Like, I, I doubt we're going to get one another turn after that. Yeah, no. That's it. Oh! Wow, okay. <clears throat> cool. Uh, okay, this one does minus 18 morale, applies demoralized, 24 ice damage. And this one just does uh, a ton of ice damage. I think we'll do the area one first. Try and reduce that morale down as quickly as we can. Yeah, I don't know why. Like the the this guy did, Father of the Damned did. But yeah, but the, the the vote wasn't for enraged; it was for haste, which they do have. I'm 
Yeah, they don't they don't have enrage. The, the enrage was coming from the um, the trumpet goblin. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, so we got a Horn of Plenty artifact. Monsters have 20% chance to deal a critical strike when attacking. That's pretty cool. Gruesome Surprise uh, is mis minus 55 morale and applies Terrified, but only to the front target. It's not to everyone. And then we've got this big this big infer Infernal Guardian demon fella. Um, honestly, I think Horn of Plenty might be better. Yeah, the trumpet goblin was uh, was pretty good. Um, because that only affects the gruesome surprises only for the first person. So let's take let's take horn of plenty. I think twenty percent ch chance to deal a, a critical strike. I like if it, if I, I like traps that do things to every everyone rather than just the initial just the initial peeps. Uh, do we need to go to the therapist? Not really. No, we're all right. Uh, I don't think we need to go to the merchant. I don't think we need to buy anything. So let's. Can we do the event? Or if we do the event, will that poison everyone? I don't suppose it really matters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's fine. It's 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 me and Hazel. We get poisoned. It's fine. We're not using them anyway. That's fine. We're out for four weeks, but we weren't using them anyway, so it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Um, can we turn... If we go to the alchemist, can we turn tears into blood? Because we might... We don't have much... We don't have much blood. We can. Can we do it again? Trying to even it out a bit. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Okay. Let's interview our intern. <laughs> uh, we can give him plus 20 resistance. There we go. Alright. We're up against some more adventurers. So, we have a normal difficulty, which is actually kind of an easy difficulty, for number one. Uh, another normal difficulty, which gives us a master bonus, which isn't too bad. Um, or... We can uh, we can go to uh, the hard difficulty. They get a resting room, which makes it a little bit more hard. Um, but we get a monster and we get a butt ton of gold. Honestly, we don't really need the gold that desperately at the moment. It might be nice to get a bonus for our master, potentially. I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, let's begin. Let's begin the vote. You're a bit early there. You jumped the gun. Now you can vote. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know what I want. <laughs> the heroes are getting the buff. Don't you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> so this is enraged for the, is for the next group of monsters. So if I put the rallying horn on this one, then these guys will get the buff. Okay. So damage and morale dealt increased by 30%. If you want to help me... Then put a hash two in the chat. If you want to be like Rise, then you put a hash one in the chat. God damn it, Rise. God damn it. Oh. 
Okay. There we go. All right. Well, looks like uh, looks like the the, uh, the enemies are getting some help from from Rise. Ooh. Oh well, they get enraged from this guy anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference. No. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Well. He's dead. Good job. Good job, little chubby goblin. <laughs> All right. Well, the guy at the front should be taking a lot more damage now, which is good. Stop having turns before and stop doing stuff before it starts. It's not. It's not fair. All right. Let's get. Let's get the guy at the front to run away. No, it's 3v2. Nice big hit there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, we could probably kill that one off, but I want to... I don't want to... <clears throat> I kind of want him to stay around so we can finish him off in a minute. Because I can then use this and that will finish him off and also deal damage to the one behind it. Here we go. I think she's resistant to fire. Yeah, she's quite resistant to fire. How are you resistant to a spear in the face? Oh, it was this one. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can increase his... We can increase his morale intimidation challenge thing. We can just increase his overall power so he's just generally more powerful. Uh, or we can increase... The, well, I don't need to use Burning Whip. Uh, these are all a bit shit, honestly. Uh, I guess power... I guess. Although 50 morale is quite a lot. We'll get that one. We'll get that one. Okay, to the trainer we go. Pip, you're level four. Congrats. Uh, and we're going to train this one up to level four as well. Now, all of our skelly boys are level four. Can we increase their level further? We can't. So that's their maximum level. We can't, we can't increase their level any more than they are. Okay, in that case then... Uh, okay, so we've got a, a choice of uh, an engineer to bolster our traps, or we can go to Sanctuary to debuff future uh, adventurers. I think that might be a good idea. You want to go to Engineer? You don't want to debuff the, the enemies? Or the, the heroes? Alright. We'll go to engineer. <laughs> it's too late now. It's too late now, Rise. <laughs> okay, yeah, if we buff this one, it's um, the next two groups of monsters. 
So that would that would count for the the one group of monsters that we have, uh, plus uh, the Father of the Damned. Uh, and that one does that just becomes fifty five morale. Okay. Well. Yeah. Let's do this. Can we do this one as well? Oh, we can. Let's get both of them. Okay. Do the event. Uh, nope. I guess we do a business trip. Um, let's see. Hazel, you're going on a business trip. Congrats. It's a lot of tears and a lot of gold. Okay. Let's just make sure how our employees doing. Oh, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. It's all good. Okay. So, we're up against some tough ones this week. We've got some uh, a normal difficulty, which awards us a trap and some gold. We've got a hard difficulty, which shouldn't be too bad, because, in fact, both of them are hard difficulties with disaster rooms. So that shouldn't be too bad. One uh, gives us a master bonus and a decent chunk of gold, and the other one gives us a new artifact. And, like, pittance as far as gold is concerned, but a new artifact. Um, we didn't really have many artifacts in the previous run. Um, so that might have been... If we can get the skull, that gives us a chance to bring skeleton, uh, bring monsters back as skeletons. Oh, that could be good. That could be good. All right, it's time to vote. Hash one, hash two, or hash three in the chat. Um, hash three, uh, number three is the one that gives us a new, a new artifact. Uh, number two gives us uh, a. Um, Master bonus, I think it was. But yeah, I think uh, I think artifacts probably go, the way to go. If we can get the skull, that gives us a, a chance to bring back, <clears throat> uh, bring back uh, enemy uh, monsters that die as skeletons. That would be awesome if we could get that, because then that would tie in nicely with the with this one. Um. Okay. Uh, if you want to help my uh, my monsters take less damage from attacks, uh, then hash two in the chat, please. Not going to put any monsters in the front. Then we have a spell. Then we have our dude. And then we have our first trap. So first trap, we want to do rallying horn. Oh, it's a shame we didn't get the rallying horn before up here. That would have been that would have been nice, but that's fine. So we get the rallying horn here. I'm just going to double check. It does ice damage to the back target. So let's swap. Let's let's put Pip at the back because Pip has 85% ice resistance. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, oh, what, the Enrage? It might apply to the boss? Yeah, it should do. It should do. And then, um, I guess we'll just stick the pile of bones in. Just on, on the hope that if there's anyone still alive, that they run away before they get to the boss. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Okay, what we got here? Damage taken from traps take it uh, increased by 100%. Well, that's no. There's no point in doing that because they're not going to get to a trap. Um, we could just apply some frostbite, and so they take some damage. 
Uh, or we can try and slow them for five turns. Let's do that. I, I normally go with the slow. The slow is usually pretty good. Run, little goblin. Uh, let's get uh, some intimidation on them. Get some terrifieds. No, stop. There we go. Oh, he got rid of it all. God damn it. How often can he do that? How often can he do that? Once. Okay. So, he, so now we can start stacking them up again and he can't get rid of them anymore. But it's, it's kind of screwed us. Yeah, that kind of screwed us a little bit. Oh yeah, it has it has applied to the master as well. Haha, <laughs> six damage for your ice attack. Oh, nice big hit. Sweet, he's dead. Big hit there as well. Nice. Sweet, he's going to start taking a lot more damage now. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, let's, let's kill this guy. Let's not let's not allow him to run away if we can. Oof. Oh come on! There we go. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Good job. Um, okay, so we've got the two bird stone, which we've seen before. I don't really like it. It's a bit... It's it's okay. It's like, if that was the only one we could get, then it would be fine, but... Um, okay. Miraculous Pill. Monsters placed at the back perform an additional attack but lose 20 speed and start fights with 50% of their maximum life. <sighs> I don't like that one. Ice damage from monsters' attacks are dealt to the target's fire resistance if it is lower than the ice resistance. Yes. I mean, we got we got we got Pip's um, we got Pip's Skelly Skelly Bob that does uh, ice attacks, and uh, our Father of the Damned does. Uh, yeah, the the intern uh, Father of the Damned does um, does frost ice stuff. But it's only from monsters attack, so if we had an ice trap it wouldn't affect it wouldn't affect that. Okay. Uh let's do a workout, I guess, because I don't really want to buy anything right now. So extra armor, extra power. Uh let's let's just do the power. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Business trip. 
What's this? Unholy Shroud grants 50% to apply uh, Frostbite 2 with monsters' attacks which deal morale. That could work quite nicely with what we have already, right? Work with the skellies and the and the and this one. That could work. That could work quite nicely. All right, rise. You're going on a business trip. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sending any of my skellies. There we go. Engineer. Let's see if we can buff our buff our trapper a bit more. Uh, okay, yep, good. Uh, let's do an event. While wandering around in the corridors this morning, you come face to face with a human. He seems as surprised as you are. What are you going to do? We're all right for tears and stuff. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is going to be a tough one. Uh, we're all right. Yeah, we're, we're fine here. Um, okay, so we've got a tough one. Uh, we got two hard difficulties and one champion difficulty. Uh, they all get a resting room, so they all have a, an opportunity to uh, to heal up part way through. Um, number one is going to grant us a master bonus and a sizable chunk of gold. The second one is going to offer us an artifact and a little bit of gold. And then the champion is going to give us some kind of rare reward and a sizable chunk of gold. Uh, I don't really need the artifact because we've, we've got five artifacts. I think all of our artifacts kind of work relatively well together. The only one I would, the only one I would want is the skull that's the only one I'd want to re uh, and that would have to replace one of the ones that we have um, so I'm not really worried about an artifact right now because we've got five um, so yeah it's up to you guys get ready to vote what button is it? it's that one alright here we go and let's go so hash one, hash two, or hash three in the chat for whichever one you think would be the most beneficial. And whatever that noise is, I don't know what it is, but it, I wish it would stop. I don't know what it is. Okay, we're up against the champion. We're on full health for our, for our slaveholder dude. But we are getting towards the end of the, uh, the end of this streak, so... Let's let's hope let's hope it goes all right. It'll be a good test. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> but we've got you know we've got five we've got five. Uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. I feel like there's like a loose wire somewhere. I just... Oh, I think it's that. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> uh. To the next two groups of monsters. Let's put the. Horn up first. There's no group of monsters here. Oh, if you want to help me defeat these guys, we've got a necromancer here, so that could be bad. This guy has a lot of health as well, but not very much uh, morale, so we might be alright. And then what does this one do? Dodges the ac activations of the first regular trap. Okay, well, okay. Well, never mind. Uh, so both of our traps are right at the start. Then we get our intern. Then we get a spell. Then they get to rest, and then they come up against. Then they come up against Dream Team. Uh, let's put Streamlabs at the back because he's going to have fire resist. Pipkyo's in the middle. 
Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see. Let's see how this goes. And then they come up against the boss. Fresh meat! This will go well, you think? I don't know if it will. Run, little goblin. I'm, I'm hoping it will. Alright, let's do Torment to begin with. Now he gets enraged because this guy is down. Oh my goodness. He's dead. He's almost dead already. He's only going to get one more turn. Let's go with Spectral Claw. There we go. That's going to be it. He's not going to get He's going to get another turn. Well. Let's get some uh, intimidation going. Okay, so the one at the back is now below, and they've all healed up. So the one at the, the one at the back is now below seventy-five percent, which means they're going to start taking increased damage as well. Let's get some more demoralised on these folks. Oh, guy at the front's going to run away any time now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's do this. That should get the guy at the front to run away. Oh, big hit there on the Necromancer. Oh, we could just straight up kill the Necromancer. Nice. And then the other one runs away. Yeah. That went a lot better than I was expecting it to. <laughs> the skull. It did look a bit scary for a sec. Yeah, you're right, it did. Uh, we're taking the skull. Absolutely, we are taking the skull. And we're going to put it in instead of the Horn of Plenty. I think that's probably the best the best one. We want to keep these two. Um, yeah. There we go. Cool. Good job, everyone. Um, Alright, Streamlabs needs a little bit of a motivation thing, but <clears throat> otherwise it's fine. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's check out the engineer then. We can upgrade this this now, and then that's both our both of our traps that we've been using fully upgraded. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, obviously. Obviously, you know, streaming on Twitch in, and, that, and the Twitch integration does make it a little bit more fun than it is without that. But it is still kind of fun to play it through. It, it's 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 it, it it has that sort of darkest dungeon element to it, but without it being as dark or as unfair. Um, so yeah, All right, business trip. Let's send someone away on a business trip. Who should we send away? I guess we're just sending this guy. I don't really want to send either of... I don't want to send any of them. But I guess we're sending this guy. Because I don't want to send my skeletons. <laughs> yeah, the RNG isn't as bad as Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a seminar, an outing amongst colleagues is always a way, always a joy. We are only not human. Yeah, let's do the seminar. Um, okay. 
So we could do with getting our motivation up a little bit. So let's do that. Or instead of motivation, we could increase their armor for 15 weeks. Or give them a shell, two stacks of shell for 15 weeks. Can we do more than one? No, we can't. Okay. Well, the, the monsters have shell for a couple of weeks. Uh, for 15 weeks. Uh, so, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's do an interview with this guy. So we can give him some extra life. Uh, we could sacrifice Hazel to him. Hazel, <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, Hazel, but uh, the father of the damned. It's kind of important. Sorry, Hazel. <laughs> I sent you to Daddy, okay? I sent you to Daddy. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, actually, this could work quite nicely because then we don't have to go to the therapist. We can do something else instead. <laughs> Lucky me, I'm going to keep the 300 gold. Absolutely, I am. All right, how are we doing? So it's just this this one that needs a little boost but that's not hugely important uh, let's do another event then a banshee has offered her crying services if you show her one of your employees to get her all emotional it'll be oh we don't have one of these guys uh, sure sure we'll, we'll get some more tears uh, right let's do a workout for, uh, for the big man There we go. Big man is stronger now. Much more strong. Alright. So, it's fighting time. Monsters have still got uh, shell, which is cool. So, we've got uh, a normal difficulty with a disaster room. Gives us a trap. And then we've got two hard difficulties. Uh, number two gives us a master bonus and a reasonable amount of gold. Uh, and number three gives us a trap uh, and an even larger amount of gold. Uh, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but so far, most of the things that we've been fighting haven't actually been getting to our master. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good a good thing to do or not. So, up to you. Hash one, hash two, or hash three in the chat decides the fate of where who who comes in to fight us I guess the uh, the the master stuff might be useful if we uh, for for another champion because we've got, we're gonna have another champion fight coming up at some point soon so number two it is all right yeah this is fine this is fine. We can only have one group, so this is fine. Could get the morale skill upgrade again, which would be nice. Yeah, potentially. Alright. If you'd like to help and increase the resistance of my monsters, put a hash two in the chat. Let's get our rallying horn to begin with. 
that enrages the next two sets of monsters. So that'll be Father of the Damned and our, our group of Skelly Boys. Um, who are we up against? Level 8. Oh, oh no. Uh, this one is immune to master spells, which is kind of sucky. This one uh, gives 10% of all heroes maximum morale back when the Mamluk kills a monster. Okay, well that's fortunate because we don't have that many monsters for it to kill. And this one gives 2% of all heroes maximum morale back at the start of each turn. So that kind of sucks. So this should work quite well if we can... Because this guy can demoralize them, right? No, he can't. No, it's not demoralized. It's terrified. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so then they get a little rest and then they come up against against our, our peeps. Okay. Uh, you do air damage to the front. You do air damage to the back. And you do fire damage to everyone. Okay. Let's put you at the back then. And you in the middle. You have slightly higher air resistance. So it makes more sense for you to go at the back. And you at the front. Yeah, that seems that seems like a good... Seems like a good shout. Alright. Let's see how we go. Plus we've got the shell. <laughs> Run, little gobbo. Um, plus we've got Shell from from before. I did virtually nothing <laughs> to them as far as uh, as far as morale was concerned. It didn't make much of a dent. Let's hope we get one more turn. If we can get one more turn with this guy, then uh, then we might we might be able to do some 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 work here. It's it's really annoying because she's just like just putting all that morale stuff, just slowly putting it back on again. Stay alive! Stay alive! It's not going to stay alive. Right, she's used her one heal now. Right, this is going to heal them up. So them, or they healed their morale instead of their health, which I would have preferred it have gone the other way, but never mind. All right, Skelly boys, it's time to go to work. Do your thing, Skelly boys. Do your thing. Nice big hit there. Uh, let's get let's get some more. Of that. Do you know what? Let's get let's do one more fear of the dead. Try and reduce their morale down a little bit more. These guys are both under fifty percent now, so they'll start taking a lot more damage. Oh man, these skeletons are tanky as heck at the moment. Uh, let's go with impalement. That kills both both the ones at the front. <laughs> Okay. Damn. Skelly boys. Skelly boys. Oh. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. Let's 
Scurly boys. Yeah, more challenge, definitely. Whew. All right, how are we doing? Okay. We can. We don't need to go to the therapist, because Streamlabs is the only one that needs uh, a motivation thing. Like, it's not, it's not a big thing. Uh, we don't need to go to the merchant. So let's just do the event. While walking through the corridors, you notice a monster waiting for a job interview. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need you. I, I'll take your tears instead. Uh, I guess we'll do a workout for the master. I like, well, I think we're kind of, I think there's 44 weeks in total. We're on week 40. So I feel like doing a workout and uh, buffing, uh, buffing the, 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 this, this guy is probably a good idea. Um, so let's, let's give him some extra armor, uh, and we can also give him some resistances, should we need to. Uh, I don't know that there's much point in going to the trainer at this point, because I don't think we can, we can't level our monsters anymore. Uh, so let's do the event. Uh, by chance you meet a tamer traveling through the region looking for some work. This traveler offers to train one of your employees. No. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure they can't. I'm pretty sure they can't go to level 5. It's the same with the traps. Like, I just can't select the traps to, to level them up. Um, like, I might as well just upgrade this one. Why can't I upgrade it again? I've got the gold. It won't let me do it again. Okay. okay. Well, whatever. Um, okay. So we're up against the champion. The champion. We've still got shell. So that's that's good. So we've still got that extra bonus of, of having the shell. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And we're off. Okay. Now, if we have another necromancer, we might be... Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a, a level 11 samurai. So he has two passives. One of them ricochets to the monster positioned behind the target if the target's air resistance is negative. And and damage dealt is increased by 1% per life percentage point lost. So if the, if the, if he's taken 1% of his life, then he's going to do... Oh no. Yeah, so if he loses 1% life, he's going to do 1% more damage. So the more damage he takes, the more damage he does. Fuck. Um, this guy, damage dealt to monsters at their maximum life is increased by 50%. So he does more damage at the start. That kind of sucks. And then this one is uh, puts dodge on the hero with the lowest life at the start of each fight. Which is ass, And gives 2% of all heroes maximum morale back at the start of each turn. So that is also ass. Yeah, most of the time that's the case. Like the 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 lower morale. Um, but there's still a lot of morale. Uh, he's doing nature damage to the front. He does just physical damage, and he does air to the front. So it doesn't really matter which uh, order I put these two in at all. Okay, so giving us some speed. Thank you very much for, for typing hash2 in the chat. Um, so that should mean that we get to go first, at least. 
after this guy who who will just probably just do something right at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, he applies poison to the monster with the highest life at the start of each fight. So that's just a, a thing that he does just naturally. Yeah, these are all pretty quick. Okay. Well, it's... Yeah, it's too late now. Run, little gubbo! Run! <laughs> right. He's going to dodge that because of the thing that he did. get some more torments and if we can survive one more turn then we can do the spectral claw we should be alive for one more turn just about nice all right do some more intimidation. Then they get to rest. Oh, and all of their stuff goes away. Sweet. Cool. Right. These guys are both under 50% now, so they're going to start taking 35% more damage. So if we can focus on taking down these guys. Oh, nice big hit there. Right, first guy's down. We do the one at the back. He's gonna cause the one at the back to run away. Now it's just you versus you, Mr. Samurai versus Muskelly Boys. Although he's gonna start doing a lot more damage now because he's almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. Mod, we have a problem. One of our keepers is facing a spectacular invasion. All hands on deck. Clappers. Going back all demons and skeletons. As an experienced slaveholder, you should be able to put together a team without necromancy or summoning. We're counting on you to do a lot of work with very few resources. If you can pull that off, the management <laughs> will be very clean. Thanks for the clappers. Clappers in the chat. There we go. We did it. Ah, my work here is done. Nice. Nice. Level ten, baby. I love the smell of sweat and blood. Really? Torture? It's a passion. The smell of sweat and blood to me just sounds it's just ugh. It's pretty gross. All right, so uh, let's go spend our talent point. Here we go. That unlocks these ones. Ooh, grants 20% chance to apply demoralize with traps that de which deal morale. That's pretty cool. And then uh, that just does burning whip damage, which we don't we, we don't rarely use. So I don't think we need to go for that one. Um, but we can go this route. That would be that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Literally done that. Yeah, he didn't do anything. He just stood at the back. He stood at the back. He didn't really do much, did he? Um, okay. Let's 
Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Sounds like a good slave master to me. Well, yeah, I suppose I suppose it does, doesn't it? If if they if they're not actually doing anything and getting you to do getting all the minions to do all the all the work, then yeah, I guess that is right. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Daddy Daddy Undead because Daddy Undead's been working working pretty well for us, honestly. Um, okay, so who have we got this time? Pip is still the. Uh, Icy skeleton. Uh, we've got some demons now. Rise, you're a big, big weird demon thing that has tentacles that come out your mouth. I'm a gargoyle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fair. Uh, Streamlabs is a orc sorcerer. We've got Rathkar, the dark magus, uh, which is another demon, and then we've got another demon here in the form of Let's Quest, who's a, a naga. Says you're a ghost. Oh yeah, you're yeah you're a ghost. Spooky. <laughs> uh, right. Let's see. What do we What do we want to do here? Uh, these uh, none of none of these are particularly what I like. I'm gonna be honest. Um, what's our so we've got the frostbite unholy shroud artifact. Okay. Okay. What traps do we have? Uh we've we've got the goblin goblin boy, the trump trumpet goblin trumpet and uh and the pile of bones. Demonic run, I mean maybe I'm going to go and get the rallying horn upgraded first. Oh, we still need to do that. Okay. Let's let's, let's upgrade our traps first. And see see how we go from there. Yeah, he's a he's a little fat little goblin. It's great. Um, let's let's sell it. Um, do we have it? We can't really afford to send anyone away on a business trip because we need we need all the peeps that we can get. Uh, okay, let's do it. Let's just do an event. Ooh, heroes affected by burn lose minus thirty speed. I think we'll do that. Mainly just because we get a new another artifact, even if it's rubbish. Uh, it might it might be useful. It might be useful. I don't know if anyone does any fire damage. Oh, there you go. Streamlabs does fire damage. Uh, but that's it. So it's it's not a great artifact, but it's better than no artifact. Okay, so week week five, our first our first fights. Um. So, Frozen Caves, which is number one, uh, is normal difficulty, rewards us a monster and some gold. Uh, we get another one, uh, normal difficulty, with a disaster ring, which will make this super easy. Uh, which will also rewards us a monster and some gold. And then we've got a really hard one. A, it is quite a hard one. Which is number three, which gives us a big chunk of gold, but it also, uh, it's quite difficult. And they get a resting room, so yeah, not not great, not great. All right, let's uh, let's get ready to vote. So hash one, hash two, or hash three in the chat decides on which ad adventuring party comes to attack us. Rise has gone for the most difficult one. Pip's gone for the most difficult one. Shumperful, thank you for not going for the most difficult one. <laughs> okay. We might be alright. It might be fine. It might be fine. Don't whinge. I'm not whinging. Okay, a little, little bit whinging. Okay. Uh, so, hash one or hash two 
in the chat. Uh, hash two buffing the monsters. Hash one buffing the heroes. So pff, don't do that one. Um, okay. So who are we up against? We are up against a level three disciple. Morale loss is reduced by 50% on this guy. Well, that sucks. And he does ice damage to whoever is up front. This one does nature damage to whoever is up front. And he does uh, poison to the highest life at the start of each fight. And damage dealt to monsters at their maximum life is increased by 50%. So that sucks as well. And this one does fire damage and does one heal of 25% at some point. Okay. Okay, and then in that case, then I guess Pip's going to go up front for this one because you've got the highest ice resistance, which will, you know, help against that. Um. Okay, let's see how this goes. Ooh. Well, we don't really have any tanks. So I have to put someone at the front. And you've got 55% ice resistance. So when this guy hits you, it won't, it won't hurt as much as if he was to hit anyone else. You can tank. You'll be fine. Except that, like, no, like none of them have got very much health. They've all got 80 health, so you might be able to take a couple of hits. It's really annoying that we can't get the rallying horn to go first, but, you know, it is what it is. Just getting the cold shoulder. <laughs> like it. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, these are both got the same as far as ice resistance is concerned. Streamlabs has a little bit of extra uh, health, though. So Streamlabs is going to go at the front. Uh, Let's Crest can go second. And then Rathka, the Dark Magus, will go at the back. Feel like you're being iced out? Uh, just cool off, will you? Just chill out. What should we do here? Let's get some more morale stuff going. It's not doing a huge amount. Yeah, see, he only... His morale loss is reduced by 50%. So, although this is really good, it's not going to be as, as effective on this guy as it would be against literally anyone else. So I think we're going to go for the for the back target here instead. Wow. Okay, well, Pip's dead. Pip's dead already. Stay alive. Oh, no, he died. And now I'm dead as well. Right, that's the heal done. Go, little chubby goblin. Blow your horn. Good job. <laughs> okay, let's get... Uh, let's get some more intimidation going. Nice. Right. I think we just go Spectral Claw here, you know. Nice. Big chunks of, of morale damage there. I think we do it again. 
Spectral Claw. Oh my goodness. How is he not running away? He's got seven left. He's got seven morale. He's got seven morale left. Okay. I think we're, we're probably dead here. We're, yeah. This guy's... That's a shame. Right. Sweet. That's two of them running away. <laughs> that leaves one to uh, to heal a little bit there. And now, uh, and now we're up against this this lot. I don't suppose it makes much different difference here. Let's do some wherever that is. That looks cool. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we did almost get all through with the trap. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Could probably do with something a bit tanky. So I, I kind of... Part of me is thinking maybe go with the Yeti. But also I do really like the Skeleton Ball. Um, because of the, the, the passive it has, where it applies shell to the monster of the group at the front, and haste to the one at the back, and uh, if you put this one at the back, it applies flame spirit to monsters in front of the skeleton ball when it does that uh, burning attack. I kind of feel like that's, that's, that's pretty useful. I'm going to take I'm going to take I'm going to take the skeleton ball. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, right, let's see what our employees are like. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to put the Skeleton Ball in second group and put. Uh, I'm going to put a Let's Quest in. Oh, hmm. Yeah, no. Rathkar is going to go in the first group. Yeah. Uh, new monster? I think... I don't know if we really need... Do we need to buy a new monster? Or should we use our money to, like, buff our traps? Uh, it's a shame we can't scroll down to see what else is coming up. More monsters is usually good. Let's get... Okay, right, we'll get one more monster. Ooh. A skeleton dog. Passive. Applies enhanced resistance to the monster of the group at the front and guaranteed critical to the one at the back. Dog and ball. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. If you put bull, skeleton bull at the back and skeleton dog in the middle, that's a nice combo. That would work really well with this. And then you could have you could have that maybe with this with the the, the the orc sorcerer, when when monsters defeated come back to life as skeleton warrior. Maybe. I put them in a group together with with it with that. Thing is, I don't want to spend I don't want to spend too much gold. On buying monsters because unless we get a black market, we can't get rid of any. This is the only thing I'm thinking. Like I really like, I really like the uh, the big orcs, but uh, I don't want to spend too much, too much gold on on monsters. 
Definitely taking this one, though. Hazel. You're in. It's just 200 gold? Well, yeah, but we don't have a lot of gold. Hazel, you're a skeleton dog. Congrats. Welcome. Welcome to the group. Plus, not only not only is it two hundred gold, but it also means then that uh, that's two hundred gold less to train up some of the other things that I want to train up. So it just means that we're going to need to get a lot of gold from somewhere. That's all. Okay, so. If we put uh, if we put the bull bull and dog in the first group, then with uh, with the orc, and then we have. So you think this will be group one? Because there's not a lot of morale stuff going on here. Is all I'm is all I'm thinking. It makes more sense for the morale stuff to be in, in group one. So maybe these are group two. So what, we can actually put Rise and me in here for the time being. I'm gonna switch them. I'm gonna switch them out. I'm gonna put the more morale type peeps at the front in in room one. Uh, okay, let's do the event. A monster has been caught with an adult magazine depicting humans. Oh, it's me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Admit it. <laughs> it's fine. See, now I'm back. It's fine. Uh, hi, cutie. How you doing? Um, we don't really need to go to the therapist. The only person that needs to go to see a therapist is Tiny Pixels, which I think we'll just do the event. Of course I'll permit it. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> Uh, we don't need to do any of that. We don't need to do any of that. Um, okay, can we send someone on a business trip? We could probably afford to send someone from Group 1 on a business trip. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the liquid nitrogen capsule. Yeah, let's go send, send, let's send me on the on, on that for the, for the liquid nitrogen capsule capsule that's pretty cool let's let's do that okay week 10 we've got some adventurers to kill so uh, in the chat we've got hash one for a normal difficulty uh, with the disaster room so that'll probably be relatively easy uh, we get a gold uh, a small gold reward and a new monster um, we get another normal difficulty on hash two uh, which gives us uh, another monster and a little bit more gold, and then uh, hash three for uh, a hard difficulty, although it's not going to be that hard, it has a disaster room, uh, for another new artifact. All right, get ready to cast your vote. Yes, I, I, I kind of feel like they, they sometimes take too long. But if you've got a monster that you're not really using... It kind of works out. Oh, I'll tell you what, my shoulder is still hurting after that bonk earlier. After I bonked it on the corner of the cupboard. Oof. Alright. We're going to get a new artifact. Nice. 
<laughs> All right. Who are we up against? This guy does ice damage to everyone and slows. Can't be affected by demoralized and randomly moves all monsters to another position at the start of the first fight. Well, that's really annoying. You, oh, you're the, the virtuoso bard type. So you're a put dodge on someone and you're going to heal 2% of all of the hero's maximum morale at the start of each turn. So that sucks. And you've got this guy who's doing uh, ice damage and removes the penalty with the most stacks applied from all heroes at the start of his turn. But only does it once. Uh, and grants a random bonus at the start of his turn if the sage is not benefiting from any bonuses. Well, you suck. <clears throat> all right. Um, it does ice damage to everyone, so let's put in tiny pixels, and uh, we'll put in let's quest as well. That's an AOE. That's an AOE, and that's just the front. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, hash one. If you want to make it more hard harder for me. I don't think there's any there's no, I don't think there's any like benefit. I don't get any benefit or extra gold as far as I'm aware if you make it more difficult for me. So hash two in the chat to make my monsters a bit quicker. You're not at the front. No. Not 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 this time. No. Um although you've got eighty health, uh stream the orc sorcerer has hundred and fifteen. So it kinda makes sense for, for that one to be at the front. Although you do have a slightly higher ice resistance, so maybe I should put you at the front. Oh yeah, so I sh yeah I should, I should put them in places I don't want them. I don't want Pip to go at the front, so I'm going to put her at the front. I'm going to put Streamlabs at the back, and there's Quest there, so it doesn't make any difference because it's going to shuffle them anyway. So it won't matter. It won't matter. All right. Let's go to the Rallying Horn. Chubby little, chubby little Goblin. Uh, Father of the Damned. Then we do that. Then we do this. Then we do this. And then we get this fight. So, Sword Catch is going to go at the front. Uh, we want this one at the back. The bull goes at the back. The dog goes... Why is the dog bigger than the bull? <laughs> this... The skeleton, the skeleton bull is really small in compared to the skeleton dog. I, surely they've got them round the wrong way. Surely they should be like, they should swap sizes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's the case. Okay, that sounds good. Come, get some. Let's see how this goes. All right, let's move them round. Okay, not exactly what I would have liked, but never mind. Uh, let's get some hypothermia on these biatches. Let's try and start reducing their morale as best we can. This guy must be real fast. Oh, he is 105. Uh, let's set them all on fire! So they should lose... 30 speed? Yep. Yep. And uh, let's do another one of these. And another one of these. Wow. The morale is not going down as quickly as I would have liked. Okay, Naga's going to die here. Aha! But we brought it back. Um, okay. I can do another flame. Or I can go with Kane's Revenge, which transforms all monsters of the group into random skeletons. I know we've just got one skeleton back, but like, 
This one's going to kill the one at the front. This one does AoE. I think, yeah, I think. Oh, sweet. Okay. Let's try and get some more morale down if we can. Yeah, I yeah, I much prefer it when the trap comes first, but you know, what what can you do? He's going to get to go again. No. Stop it. All right, he's under he's under 50 now. And these two are, uh he's under 75. That one's not quite Is he getting a... Oh, okay. There we go. So now these two are both under 75. Uh, let's go with some more intimidation. And then they should all start taking a lot more damage. I mean, they're almost dead already. Let's go with Spectral Claw to begin with. <laughs> He's run away. He's almost dead. They're both almost dead. Like... Daddy, Daddy of the Damned is gonna kill kill these both. No question. Like they're not even gonna make it halfway through. Good job, good job, everyone. Oh no, we've got another one of these. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll look at the other ones. We'll look at the other ones first. We'll look at the other ones first, just in case. Uh, all monsters of the group gain enraged when a creature is defeated. I mean, that's fine, but I'd rather not. Uh, creatures transfer their stacks of enraged to a random monster of the group when they're defeated. These two would probably be quite... These two together would be really good. These two together would be really good. But... <laughs> I really like this one. I really like this one. Okay, oh, time to go to the trainer. Okay, Hazel, you're level three. Ventador, you're level three. Uh, which might mean we have to put tiny pixels in the group with the two skeleton creatures. We might have to move them around. Just so that they, that is a full group of uh, of skeletons. Just so we have that, that, that group dynamic. And yeah, and Pip Pip can be the tank. <laughs> uh okay. Man. Can we get a black market where I can sell like all of these and then and then get a merchant where I can just buy lots of skeletons. <laughs> that would be really useful. Okay. Bit of extra resistance for the boss. Let's do the event. Oh, this gives us some blood. Uh, we can go to the we can do the collectors now, and we can give them. Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to give them the blood. I'm just going to take the hit, because we'll heal that up. We'll heal that up. That's not a problem. Okay, so we're up against the champion this week, um, which shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, shouldn't be too bad. Take the hit right before a champ group. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you got to live on the edge a little bit. 
All right. There's not much. There's not much to to vote on here. We just got to take it. Okay. Oh, it's this one. Fortunately, none of them have got particularly high morale, so that's nice. Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind giving uh, a hash two in the chat to give our monsters some shell to reduce some of the damage that they take. Um, so this one just does a whole bunch of physical damage to the one at the back uh, and uh, applies stunned if the Huntress is affected by at least one penalty, which sucks. Uh, this one does air damage to the target at the front and heroes 10% of all heroes maximum life at the start of each fight. That sucks. And this one can't be affected by poison. I don't think we're doing much poison dust stuff anyway, so that's that's not a problem. Um, okay, do we have anything that's particularly resistant to air? Ghost. So we're going to put ghost up front. This one does physical damage to the one at the back. So we'll put sword catcher at the back. And streamlabs is going to go in the middle. And we're going to try and reduce their morale as best we can. Let's get the rallying horn. Then they get to rest. So that sucks. And then they come up against Bone Daddy. Then a pile of bones. Then we get a spell. Then we get our bone army. And then they come up against our boss man. Fresh root. Let's see how this goes. Nice. No sun? Okay. Okay, don't kill my orc. Okay, that's fine. Time to return into skeletons. Right, he's immune to poison, so let's do the pheromones. Do some demoralizing as best we can. It's not a lot. Oh, and now he's dead. Okay. And now I guess this guy's probably going to die here now. Oh, he might get another turn. There we go. He's going to get another turn. Okay. We've weakened him a little bit. Good job, little goblin fella. <laughs> right, they're going to get to heal a little here. But it's morale, not health. So, Bone Daddy's going to gonna see to that. Let's go with the Torment to begin with. Haha, <laughs> immune to stun, biatch. Okay, Spectral Claw, that'll kill off the first guy. Please get one more turn, please get one more turn, please get one more turn, please get one more turn. 
Nice. Now she's under 50%. Let's do some uh, intimidation. Nice. Now the now the champion is below 50%. And we're up against the skeleton army. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's do one more bit of demoralization. There we go, just to make sure. Should we do a bite? Let's do a bite. Oh, Monch. Monch and Crunch. No, don't stun the... No. Die, bitch. Crunch. Don't stun. God damn it. Take this arm. Yeah. Have we tried either of the other keepers yet? Nope. This is the only one, that, as far as I'm aware, that I even have access to. So, no. I haven't tried them. That was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, Alright, so we get the opportunity for a, uh, a lure, which applies multi-action to the next regular trap. Hmm... I mean that's that's okay. We get uh, we can have a vampire, uh, and we can have or oh, we've got a horn of plenty. I don't know how many how many artifacts do we have at the moment. Do we have five artifacts? I don't remember. When we get back from the business trip, you have five. Because I'm, I mean, this one's okay, but it's not great. I was kind of hoping we'd get more more skeletons, honestly. Uh, I don't know. Oh, let's take the vampire then. Yeah, none of those were well were exactly what I wanted. Um, we could have taken it. We did have a spare slot, but whatever. Um, yeah, we don't really have a lot of traps, though. We don't really have a lot of traps. I've only got the two traps. All right, let's do let's do a plunder. Um, okie dokie. Uh, what we got here? Uh, well, although this is fantastic, this is not. Upgrade a trap. Upgrade a trap for free. Nice. Uh, and the vampire got <laughs> the vampire got injured straight away. That's fine. I like. I'm not. I'm not that worried. Uh, okay. Let's let's check on the intern. See how the intern's doing. Uh. Here you go. You can have an extra thirty-five. 35 life. You're not having tiny pixels because tiny pixels is part of, of the bone army. So you're not you're not having that. Uh okay. Okay. So, next group of adventurers coming in. Uh we've got uh for hash one, we've gets us a master bonus and some gold. 
Hash 2 gets us a new trap and some gold, and Hash 3 gives us a pretty difficult time, and that also gives us a master bonus, but a bunch of gold. Um, I don't know which ones, which one I would go for here, personally. I might, I might be interested in seeing what other trap we could get, but that is a lot of gold to be passing up for number three. So, it's up to you. Get ready to make your vote. Here we go. Hash one, hash two, or hash three in the chat. Uh, yeah, business drop, business trips give you the reward immediately. Yeah, yeah. Go big. Oh, 60 40. <laughs> but trap. Sorry, Rise. No trap this time. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Uh, level 6 Shaman. Heals after a fight once. Got Mamluk. Gives 10% of all heroes maximum morale back when the Mamluk kills a monster. That's not great. And gives 25% of one hero's maximum morale back after a fight once. So they have a physical heal once. They have a morale heal once. Does air damage to the target at the back. They do fire AoE. And they do physical damage at the front. So let's put Rise at the back. Let's put Sword Capture at the front. Streamlabs in the middle. Yeah, it, it keeps putting it, it keeps putting us having a fight at the front rather than the um, rather than letting us have a, a, a trap first. But never mind. Rallying horn, you're gonna go up next. Hash two in the chat if you want to give my monsters some resistance to uh, to damage. Pile of bones goes there. Now let's just. Uh, Tomorrow target is demoralized. I don't know if these do. No, that guy doesn't do demoralized. Okay, never mind. Then they heal up at this place and removes penalties and all that kind of stuff, which is really annoying. And then they come up against the bone army. And then I think we're good. Crochet, hello. How you doing? Right, let's get some uh, morale on this guy at the front. Set them on fire. Let's scream in their face. You have a random day off? Because you have no trainer. Huh. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm not too shabby. Nice. Okay, is it is it too early to Kane's Revenge? I feel like it's too early to Kane's Revenge. Because when this dies, it's going to come back as a skeleton warrior anyway. Same same for this guy. So I should wait until these two have died and come back as skeleton warriors before I use my Kane's Revenge. There we go. Like... These guys have barely taken any morale. Oh yeah, because he's uh, he's probably just killed that guy, didn't he? So he gave some of them morale back. Ooh, that's annoying. Here we go.
Don't kill it. Don't kill it. I need it to stay alive so I can do this. Alright, time for Kane's revenge. Oh, cool. Okay. Well. Take that. <laughs> Just gonna throw my arm at you. Right. That's the heal done. That's his heal done. All their heals are done. Let's get some more intimidation on these guys. It's not doing a huge amount, unfortunately. It's slowly adding up, though. It's slowly adding up. Like, most of them are, are, are sort of below 50% hit, hit points, so, you know. It's not terrible. Spectral Claw! Oh, come on. Really? I kind of hoped that the Spectral Claw would have done more damage than that, but never mind. Let him have one more turn. Oh, yes. Let him have one more turn. Another Spectral Claw. Oh, this, this guy is so dead. This guy is so dead. Yes. There you go, you can come in and you can heal up on your own where nothing will happen. <laughs> and now it's just you against the bone zone. <laughs> He's just going to throw his arm at you. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Um, okay, let's go with uh, with this one. Like, the extra life is great and all, but, like, uh, being able to apply bleeding, like, four stacks of bleeding instead of three stacks of bleeding means we only have to do it, like, we don't have to do it as often. Um, yeah, do that. There we go. Uh, okay. Can't go to the engineer? Inadequate resources. And we've got 500 gold. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's train up our skellies. Hazel, you're level four. Congrats. You thought you died? Yeah, that was the previous one. We've gone on to the next thing now. We're on another one. We're on another run now. You were, you were an, you were an, no, no, well, it was for that particular thing. You were, uh, you were an orc. Yes, this is a new run. This is the next, the next run along. <laughs> you were an orc before, and we, we, we gave you to, uh, we gave you to the big, uh, undead daddy. And now, uh, and now you're uh, a skeleton dog. Dog skeleton, skeleton dog, but like a really big one. Somehow bigger than a skeleton bull. Somehow. 
So, um, so yeah. Uh, okay, let's do Sanctuary. Um, and make our adventurers' lives worse somehow, if we can. Uh, we don't get much. Okay, well, they can have some bleeds. That's fine. We'll make them bleed. There, the, the dog does kick ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's this? Demons' attacks regenerate their life by 150% of the damage dealt if the target is affected by burn. Do we actually have many demons? Uh, like, we've got, like, one that we're actually using, I guess. But, oh, we should probably put Rise in the thing. Um, I think we're just going to sell it. I don't, we don't really need that. Uh, Rise, I need you to go in here. I'm going to put the Rathka in here. And Alaric, I'm going to put him in here as well. Because now, we can go to the black market. And we can sell some of them. So, who are we not using? We're not using this one. So let's sell that one. Oh, I thought we might be able to sell more of them. Okay, well, never mind. I was going to sell the vampire as well, because we don't use the vampire. Um, okay, yeah, Rise needs a bit of a break. Uh, so I'm going to go in and step in for Rise for that one, but that's fine, otherwise we're all good. Okay. Bone Daddy boned you so, that, so hard that you became his undead bitch. Oh, my... Okay, context because of a female dog. Right, wow, Rise. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh hash one in the in the chat for the normal difficulty which gives us a monster and a little bit of gold. Uh, hash two in the chat for uh, a hard difficulty that gives them a resting room as well, uh, which gives us a, an artifact um, and uh, a little bit of gold. And hash three in the chat for another hard difficulty with a, another resting room, which gives us a monster and a butt ton of gold. We do have one artifact slot available, so this could be could be a time to get a new artifact potentially. Here we go. Ooh, 50-50. Yeah. yeah, I think you just have to put hash two. Like I, if you put other things before and after it, it doesn't work. Okay, so I don't know which one wins because it was 50-50. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Uh... I didn't. I didn't see which one had this uh, this particular thing in it. So, ooh, yes. Uh, hash two in the chat to give my uh, monsters some armor. Okay, who have we got this time? Oh no! Prevents monsters from coming back to life. Oh shit! Well, that's gonna screw up. That's gonna screw up this my orc sorcerer. Damage and morale taken from traps is reduced by fifty percent. Applies dodge, and this one does ice damage. What's your ice resistance like? Thirty five. His is thirty five as well, and his is thirty five. So that doesn't make any difference. This one does air damage to the front. Fifty, fifteen, thirty five. So, I guess I'm going to go up the front. Uh, let's put him here and then him here. But this is going to screw us. The Templar and the preventing monsters coming back coming back to life. That's what's going to screw us. It doesn't change summons, though. Uh, 
No, but it does mean that monsters defeated come back to life as a skeleton warrior. Like it just negates the passive of this one. Um, so it won't stop them from transforming into a group of random skeletons. But what I've been doing previously is waiting for these to die, and then when they come back as skeletons, then transforming them. Um, whereas I won't be able to do that this time. Which is 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 kind of sucky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the ball goes at the back. The dog goes uh, in the middle, and then Pip goes at the front. And then if they make it, if they make it this far, if they make it this far, then they'll have that to deal with. Oh, and they're bleeding already because of the thing that we did with the sanctuary. Uh, he's immune. Oh, to demoralized. Okay. Right. That's his his dodge is gone. Just gonna stack some of these debuffs on them. Let's do some screaming at them. She's going to get another turn. Great. Cool. I'm not sure. Is it worth... Okay, it's probably worth doing the Kane's Revenge now. Yeah, time to transform. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want another one of these, because these skeleton soldiers are badass. Um, that's what I want for the for for the the, the second group, ideally. Or just more skeletons in general would be would be nice. Load up on uh, on bleeds on that guy. Yeah, this is not going particularly well because then they're gonna they're gonna heal up. So like these two at the back have done have had hardly anything happen to them at all, which is the worst. And we can start to change that with this guy, but uh, it's not going to go brilliantly. Hopefully I can get three turns out of him. Maybe. Nice. That was good. I've got them all under 75 uh, morale now, 75% morale, so they'll start taking a little bit more damage. So if I can get one more turn, I can do another Spectral Claw, that should bring them all down a reasonable amount. There we go, he's under 50. He's almost under 50. And they've all taken a decent chunk of damage as well. Oh, he's somehow back above 50. So let's intimidate them. There we go. Alright. Bone zone. Let's just start doing some damage, I guess. Ch 
chomp. Just bite his head off. Uh, let's do Flame of Wrath, because then that we get Flame Spirit on these two. So that when they attack, they'll uh, put burning on stuff. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, damage, damaging attacks apply burning. There we go. Naughty Beagle Eye Bleach. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, wait. Yes? No? I don't know. I'm not sure what the right answer is that to that. <laughs> Do you mean you have... Wait, if it's... No, I'm, no, I'm not sure that I want to know, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure. Could you rephrase that in a way that doesn't sound uh, quite as dodgy? Do I, if you mean, do I want pictures of Naughty Beagle? Then, yes. I'm not quite sure why it would be Eye Bleach. Because normally you have to put Eye... You'd want to bleach your eyes if you see something horrendous. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. Is it, if it's just a... If it's just a cute picture of uh, Beagles being naughty, then yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, we've got um uh <laughs> bleaches make better. Drink it all. Uh Pip, can you permit cro uh, crochet for me? Wow, already on it. Already on it. Let's have, a look at, let's have a look at this picture. Oh, it's a video. Oh, it's a video. Okay, let me uh, let me just watch it real quick, just to make sure that it's it is what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can, can I get this on the? Can I get this on screen? Can we get? Hang on, let me go back to the start. Can I go get this on screen? Uh, can I get this on screen real quick? Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, what's, what's happened? No, play. There you go. Why is it doing that? Stop. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, amazing. Well, they... They <laughs> seemed very happy. <laughs> Just watch that on the work account. Oops. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's like moving when a cat is in your lap. Yeah, you just can't. Just, just can't do it. He's a little shit. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's have a look at these artifacts then. We've got a devouring whip. The master permanently gains plus eight power when defeating a hero. Yeah, I mean, so far the the master's not getting a look in. So we've got this one, which again we're not really using demons. So cheerleaders, pom pom, it is. Uh, so we want to keep that as, as it is. Uh, let's put you in here, I guess. Let's bring Rise out. 
Not that it makes any difference. Because we're not really using it. We can't, we can't use them now. Because now we're going for the, the full undead squad. This still says that we can't... We've got inadequate resources. Is it because we don't have any tiers? Maybe that's what it is to upgrade. We need tiers. Let's send someone on a business trip. Uh, let's quest. You can go on a business trip. You can give us some more gold. Fallen. Hello. Hello, hello. How you doing? Um, oh, let's go to the... If we go to the alchemist, we can transfer some of our blood into tears. And then maybe we'll be able to upgrade those traps when we need them. Okay. That might work. Uh, another business trip? Or should we plunder? As long as, as long as when we go to the business trip, it doesn't just give us a whole bunch of, uh, like, yeah, we, I know we have, but I'm just, I'm just worried that it's going to be like, oh well, here you go, you can only have this now. Right, uh, okay, well, I guess we'll get, we'll get some more tears, and we'll get 266 gold, because we can only have one group of monsters now. Uh, it's not really worth going to the therapist. Tiny Pixels is the only one that really needs it. So, um, let's kill. Yeah, let's kill, and then we've got. So we've got we've got loads of resources now, um, but it, it's Champion Week. It's Champion Week, folks. Okay, so um, this will have to be the last one because uh, I've just realised it's just gone one o'clock, which is when we normally stop. So this will be the last one. Um, so we have two, four, we've got two hard difficulties. One gives us a trap, one gives us a master bonus. They both give us a decent amount of gold that we don't really need right now. And then we've got the the hard, the hardest champion difficulty, which gives us a rare reward, which who knows what that could be? Who knows what that could be? All right. Um, bear in mind that we do only have one group of, of monsters now so this is going to be a little bit more difficult uh, okay get ready to vote with a hash one a hash two or a hash three in the chat let me know what you think I mean to be fair the re the rare rewards are usually pretty good um, but not always looks like we're going for a champion then Holy moly, this is going to be a tough one. Could be a rare skelly. I hope, I hope that it's a rare skelly. That would be awesome. If we could get a rare skelly, or if we could get, um, if we could get this crystal skull again, that would be, that would be perfect. Um, do you know what? Sword catcher, I'm putting you in there. Because we don't, we don't, we don't need you. We don't need you anymore, sword catcher. I'm sorry. Seeing as I bought Swordcatcher because someone was like, Oh, you should buy the Orc. Do you remember that? Do you remember that rise? Spending that 200 gold? <laughs> or whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't 200 gold. Alright. <laughs> it was a great idea. Mm -hmm. Alright, Rallying Horn. Trumpet, Trumpet Goblin. <laughs> You're going up first. We're not having anyone in this one. Okay, and then we're having the bull at the back, the dog in the middle, and then I stood at front. I haven't even looked to see what we're fighting. Um, we've got this one, dodges the activations of the first regular trap encountered. That kind of sucks. The attack hits all monsters, but damage is reduced by 70%, so that's fine. That's ice damage. Well, this one will be fine with that. In fact, this one's got pretty good ice uh, resistance as well. This one just does physical damage, ignores the first attack suffered, which that is ass. Um, so we need like an AoE, do AoEs, and then that'll be fine. And then we've got the champion itself, which does air, air damage.
Which we've got a little bit of resistance to, but not a lot. All right. Well, so they get through all of that. Then they get to have a rest. What does that do? That gives them their 15% of their maximum morale back at that point. And then we stick a one of these down. And then they come up against the boss. So, fingers crossed. Go, little goblin trumpet boy. <laughs> run away, little goblin. Run! Run for your life! Alright, let's get some uh, intimidation. Get some more morale reduction. Alright, Bone Daddy. Let's get him. All right, we've almost got we've almost got them all under seventy five. Oh shit! Nice, nice. Come on, one more turn. Give me one more turn. Give me one more turn. God damn it! Alright. Let's see if we can get them under 50% uh, with the morale. Let's try and get them under 50% with the morale. Okay, good. Right. Let's start doing some damage to them now then. Otherwise they're likely to end up just killing us all. <laughs> Frozen arm. Bonk. Let's get a bite. Munch. Munch on the crunch. Let's slow you all down as well. Okay. Tiny Pixels is down. Oh Jesus! Okay, Hazel's down. You've almost got the. You've almost got this guy down, though. Almost got him down. This isn't going to kill him, though. But he might die from his wounds. Yes, he did. And the other two ran away. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, these are all shit. These are all shit. Just like to point that out. For what I want. I wanted more skeletons and I didn't get any. I don't want this. I don't want this artifact. This one, I guess this, this trap is kind of okay. Like, if we weren't, if we didn't have the, the 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 artifact that only gave us one one group of monsters, then I'd take I'd take Fallen for for the Tree Man, um, which is quite appropriate for a tree person, I suppose. That if your name is Fallen, um, lure to double up on up the horn power. No, I don't know if that really. Yeah, but if I take... Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think I think Lure is the only one I would probably use. The other, the other ones I, I probably wouldn't use. Oh. Fallen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that follow. Okay, look. It's, uh, it's just gone one o'clock, so this is where we normally end the stream. Um... I'm still loving this game. I'm still having a lot of a lot of fun with it. Um, so we'll we'll leave it there for today. Uh, when we come back, we've got a couple of uh, we can go to the trainers. So we can uh, if we haven't um, if we haven't leveled up our skeletons uh, to level four. So these two can be leveled up to level four. 
let's hope that we get like a black market or something or or maybe if we can go to like maybe if we go to the merchant we might get some more skeletons to choose from but we'll see uh we'll see how it goes um okay let's see if there's anyone around that we can uh, that I can send you to to sort of uh, spread the love a little bit. Let's see if there's anyone streaming that I uh, I would like to send you to. Uh, 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 uh. I could send you to Becky again. Do you guys like Dead by Daylight? I don't know if you guys like Dead by Daylight. Let's send you to, Be to Becky again. Let's make sure she's um she's actually uh doing doing a stream. Yeah, she's not been live for very long, so um yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I'll do that. Alrighty, here we go. Raid. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind coming along to the raid, saying hi, to saying hello, even if it's just for a few minutes. Diego, thank you very much for lurking today. Much appreciate it. Uh, I do do appreciate you being here. Uh, if you get get a chance. Um, but yeah, thank you so much everyone for stopping by the stream today. Thank you, uh, Fallen for the new follow. Uh, thank you for everyone for interacting in the chat as well with, uh, with this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow. So it's a double stream day tomorrow. So we'll be playing Legend of Keepers in the morning like this. Then once we get to one o'clock, we'll have a little break. Uh, and then I come back at three o'clock, and we're going to be playing some GeoGuessr uh, for a few hours in the afternoon as well. So if that's something that you kind of like playing or kind of like people watching, then feel free to stop by tomorrow for the stream for that. I will see you all. Uh... Oh yes, and tonight. Sorry, yes, I almost forgot. Tonight on the Let's Quest channel. Let me do a quick shout out for the Let's Quest channel. Uh... I almost forgot. Can you believe it? Uh, that is not that is not how you do it. Okay, good. Because there is a there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's quest. Go and follow them. I'm streaming with them tonight. We're playing some D and D. Okay, I'll see you later.